uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. There we go. We uh, well, we survived. And um, yeah, I don't know about you. I don't know about any of you guys. But I have to say that that was really, really, really good. Yeah, there's only one word um, that describes the afternoon Dude. we've had. Yeah. And that word is brilliant. brilliant. Absolutely, Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. It's been so nice to be not only accepted amongst. Um, Kind of like your uh, mainstream, your mainstream, you know, stalls, stalls, and everything, because we didn't get any hassle. We weren't turned away. We were, we were, we were made to be very welcomed by the staff. Yeah, of, even the staff who, there. Yeah, yeah. Who, um, what's the word? Managed who organised, managed the event yeah. on the day. And to be honest with you, it it was a brilliant, brilliant afternoon. Yeah. Well spent. We were there from half ten. Half past ten, and we left at five o'clock. Five o'clock, we left. Absolutely, it was absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. So many more people in the Chester area are aware of flat Earth because well, of our so attendance. Many more, people. so many more, more people. people. Yeah, it. So many more people were coming up to us asking questions, and the biggie taking one. leaflets. Yeah, yeah. We were showing them our laminates showing them the flat earth map or projection i should yeah, say yeah. sorry so many more people are interested they're questioning absolutely. because they know that we're right absolutely and you get lots of people lots of people who ask one question which in some cases if you're not religious can be quite difficult to respond and that's why would they lie? Yeah, that seemed to be the the most popular question we were asked. Why this would afternoon. they lie? Why would they lie? Why the lie? And and I, you know, everyone's got their own opinion on this. Obviously, yeah, we're not religious. But uh, w when you think about it logically, all you need to do is ask yourself, why is it you grow up in a world where there's so much bullshit? Ask yourself that. that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's bullshit on the TV. There's bullshit in your education. There's bullshit yeah. from your friends and family. You get bullshit well, from could it your be, work colleagues. Could it be? I mean, that, come on. Could it be that man wants to could, could create it be, an illusion for himself as it, well? So, could it? Could it simply be that human beings are just totally fucked up and demented? Yeah, miserable. They're insane. They absolutely. they they have mental health problems. problems absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's this is why a lot of people want to live in the dream world absolutely the globe world because it's a dream they can forget all about their mental health problems absolutely forget absolutely. all about them forget all about reality forget <laughs> all about reality absolutely but uh, it w it was a very good day wasn't brilliant. it brilliant absolutely absolutely brilliant, brilliant. and the, i think the the best thing about this um this afternoon was that we had some guy who organizes uh, an event at the chester race course and which is uh, he gave uh -huh. he was interested for us to be there in september where you we can expect four and a half thousand people at chester racecourse a big chester event big chester event yeah wow and he that's was a lot interested for us to be there flat absolutely. earth he came up to us yeah didn't he? he came up to us absolutely we were just hoping to just attend the brook street festival and then that would be it yeah you know so we are so September September time so we are asking this is a because um, we're going to see if John Smith Globe lie absolutely if John Smith we'll Globe lies uh, watching um, we'll get in touch we might be able to um, it's, it's possible that there's a an opening an opening for him to come and uh, we can we can have a uh, you know a, a flat earth group group there yeah, there on that on, on that, that event we'll have to obviously we'll need to ring up the organizers and find out a bit more about the event but you know it's it's a possibility so um you know we'll keep keep um, keep you yeah. so any, any wow 
Chester Racecourse, four and a half thousand, thousand people. people. Yeah, there should be someone at Glastonbury. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Glastonbury. There should be a flat Earth group in Glastonbury. Okay. All weekend. All weekend doing yeah. a, doing flat a, Earth. doing flat Earth. Earth. Yeah, maybe Absolutely. that's something to think about for, for the people. following year. Absolutely, but maybe not next year, but the year after. Absolutely, because at the end of the day, you know, that'd be the ideal place. That'd be the ideal place. Festival. It's a music festival. Yeah. You know, mu a lot of music flat earth go hand in hand so you know um uh, food for thought anyway but it's uh, a yeah, great day um your highlights of the day highlights highlights i was talking because i didn't i i'm i apologize for um for the stream being interrupted at times poor quality the poor quality of the footage it's not brilliant yeah, it's pixelated because uh, it was at times it was done in 720p which isn't isn't very good um it will teach me not to do that again using absolutely yeah we'll have to we'll have to sort something out sort something out but anyway i do apologize but i do thank those people who were leaving messages on the on the stream I do appreciate that yeah thanks so um, much um fantastic brilliant day couldn't ask for better weather made me laugh when you talk to these people, how ridiculous the things they come out with. For example, this kid, this boy, this young lad, he asked me, he said to me, I proved the Coriolis effect. So I said to him, oh really? How did you do that? So he replied, in university. So I asked, I asked him, that's, that's not how, I asked you how did you do it, not where did you do it? And he's kind of go, oh, right, yeah. Because people aren't switched on. Yeah, they're not, swi they're switched off. They're switched off. So he explained to me that he organised for something to fall for a certain, he did this inside, but yeah. something to fall, I think it was a, a ball of sphere or a mass of oh, something. Oh, yeah. To fall. And it veered off very slightly. Ve veered off. He did it in a vacuum as well. He did it in a vacuum. Veered off very slightly. What and, he he's, and he said, that's the Coriolis effect. Really? Woo. And I said to him, but how do you know that? You're making a giant leap of faith to Absolutely. say that, that was the Coriolis effect. You should have asked him, well, if you think it's the Cor Coriolis effect, what did you do to your experiment to eliminate all other possibilities? Well, I did actually say to him, what, could it have been that the mass was weighted more on, absolutely, on absolutely. part of yeah, its yeah. side? Or so as it was spinning, as it was tumbling down, it moved over. Absolutely. Because it was weighted more on one side. Or it could have been the way it was spinning. Absolutely, yeah. There's loads could of explanations that can account. If it had spun the other way, it would have veered off to the other direction. Yeah, there's loads of information that can account for that slight move. A bit like Henry Cavendish. And, he's, and, he's, he's, he, and he showed... The, how gravity can affect uh, a larger mass can have an effect on a smaller mass and yet he didn't take it into account he, he did it in his shed and made of materials wood. expand and contract, contract due yeah. to heat it, yeah everything moves it's crazy you know it's crazy had some fantastic conversations with people absolutely yeah i even, spoke to even had a couple of uh had a conversation with a couple of people who were a bit pissed and you, 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 you got to take. You do wonder that some people are just taking the piss and, you know, just having a laugh. Well, Absolutely. It's flat. Oh, right. I'm just going back to the back, back to the pub because I think my beer's flat by now. That oh, kind yeah, of stuff, sure. you know. But they come back. But they come back because they they come back because they want to know. They come back. Why is it in 2018, when we're all taught, taught, told, whatever, that the Earth's a spinning ball? Okay, we see it on the TV, we see it on the internet, all this kind of shite. Why is it these there's people on the street who think the earth is flat? It's because it is. Is there, could there be a possibility that they're right? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's why they come back. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And they'll go away. they want to know. They'll go away and they'll think about it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Because they know that there's a lot of shit on TV. There's a lot of shit in the newspapers. 
Absolutely, uh, lots. And then of you people. have this bloke yeah. who was into the who was into the Rockefellers owning this, and nine eleven was an inside job, but it just won't go to flat Earth, won't touch it at all. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's crazy. You know, yeah. you think if they can destroy a building, two buildings, three buildings destroyed, you know, can they not put across that the Earth is a globe when it's in fact flat? Absolutely, yeah. You know. It's crazy how yeah. people can can just believe, uh, accept things, and not accept. Yeah. Things. Yeah. But, but apart from that, I think Vic was fantastic. Yeah, Vic did a wonderful job on the uh, stall, which is really good. Yeah, I'm so pleased we had our music CD because that the, helped an awful yeah, lot. Having the music playing really does make a difference. So if anybody, if anybody is um, is out there doing some act street activism you need music have some music have playing. some music playing. have a compilation of flat earth music, music playing. playing absolutely it makes a whole, whole new dif absolutely it, people yeah. become attracted to the sounds rather than the message so yeah. if people like the sound of something they'll be more interested to come along so you know i mean all of these are, are good things to to think about yeah for future events if future you're going to yeah. hold them yourself because really, when you think about it, don't be afraid. Just go out and do it. You yeah. know, don't be afraid. Yeah. Because you, you are part of your community. You are part of, of your, your community. community. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that, you know, you are your community. Yeah. You know, so you know, get out there. You know, spread the spread the word of flat Earth to everyone. Yeah. So, what was your highlight? My highlight, I think, was uh, didn't really have one really. Oh, but all of it. All of it really. It was. It, it was it, just yeah. brilliant. And yeah. um, from start to finish. finish yeah. Um, it's amazing I got, how we five got, hours I got went. talking to. I'm trying to think of someone who, who I got talking to. I got to meet young young kids. Young young people are very hard work because they're you know they're the younger the they, even younger ones are the worst ones. Absolutely, because they're so indoctrinated absolutely. and they want to believe they want to trust what they're being taught. It's because what it is is that they, with a young person they don't fully understand people people and the simple and the word that you're saying like trust yeah. they yeah. don't understand yeah. how the impact of trust has yeah. on their life yeah. Yeah. because they're too young yeah they're ignorant ignorant of it and as one it one whereas older people they know what trust is all about yeah I know, you yeah. know yeah. they they yeah. are they know yeah they're full of shit down there but one thing with with young people and that's talking about santa claus because you, everybody knows that most young people, every young person will come to realise that Santa's a load of shit. Mm. You know, so they're told a lie with Santa. So the, the globe and space is just the adult lie. It's the lie for the adults. It's Absolutely, fantasy, yeah, fantasy. sure. I, I, I really thought the whole day was wonderful. Um, I didn't get, didn't, didn't have any problems with anyone. Everybody was really nice. So I'd yeah. like to say, I, I personally would like to thank everybody who, who I spoke to, who came to the stall, who went to the street, uh, the people who had us there, the, the organisers. I'd like to say a big, huge thank you to all of you. So big thank you. Because yeah. without you guys, it wouldn't have made that event such, an, such a success for Chester Flat Earth Group. Absolutely. Um, wonderful. Well, I got talking to some guy. Guy, some guy, some guy coming up to me, says, to me, "Yep, well into this." So you know, so I'm saying to him, "Here's where we meet up. Oh, come along, you know, come along." Whether we'll turn up is a different matter, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He knows that there's people out there who share his view, who share his views, yeah. and that's all that matters. So you know, which is great. I spoke to, I spoke to, I spoke to, yeah, young people who have messed up, you know messed up in the head um but all in all yeah great it was yeah, it was just brilliant. a brilliant, brilliant afternoon brilliant afternoon um i think i think a message from from me to everyone and that is you know get out there get out there spread the word of flat earth mm. you know even if you're on your own it doesn't matter yeah you know or you know if you if you're a bit worried about getting jib from people you know take take somebody with you you know or make sure you're filming it me, or make, ensure, always ensure you film it obviously for safety yeah because I, I think some people get a bit put off by if they yeah. see loads of people filming they get a bit put off yeah but yeah do it for safety personal safety um, but do it go out and do it you only live once yeah. you know and you, you never know you might even enjoy doing it 
Well, you meet new people. You meet new people. You get talking about. Um, there's there's so many lovely people out there. You know, yeah. um, you know, if you're stuck indoors just watching YouTube videos, you know, you're not going to get very far. So, you know, yeah. by going out doing doing some flat earth videos, flat earth uh, street activism, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, brilliant, yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah. fucking brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was really that good. was really really good. Really good. But uh, I think um, I think yeah. one of my uh, one thing I've got to say before we go, and that is I was in the pub um, with a couple of people that I know, and some guy come up to me, and he he shook my hand, all of a sudden out of the blue. You know, I'm just sitting there. Really? Wow. Come up, and he went, oh yeah, you know, blah blah blah. I've I've seen a lot of your, I've seen a lot of your videos, and he sh shook my hand. You know. And I'm thinking, and me, me, the two people I was I was with, I'm, they're, they're thinking, well, I'm a celebrity, you know. I'd like to say a big thank you to you to you. I'd, I've forgotten your name, but you 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 came across to me as being a wonderful, wonderful individual, and I really do hope that you thoroughly enjoyed the day with your oh, son. That's because that's another Absolutely. another thing, another thing that even I was saying to like, that young girl. I think she was only ten. 10 or 12 Don't know. there was a young girl with two with a his her brother i think and another boy there was three of them she wore a greenish kind of top couldn't tell you but anyway even i was saying to her you know giving people compliments you know you, you come across as being a nice person that's one thing i've i think that's very valuable when you talk to people about engaging about flat earth and that is you don't come across as though you condescend people you recognize that they're nice people they might be fucked up in their heads absolutely you know I mean? of course yeah but they're but, still nice people but they're still nice people absolutely i i got talking to to uh, you you were talking to three young people weren't you yeah yeah and one of them one of them had the had i felt had the audacity oh, to actually oh, yeah. put human beings on this pinnacle Oh right, yeah. On yeah. a pedestal up and yet, there, and yet the worst thing is separating oh, humans from yeah, all the rest of the animals. The, that's the group of three I was referring to. Oh right, two, okay. two oh, right, young sure. boys and uh, the girl. And the thing is, with that bloke, that young boy, yeah, he even likened, he even agreed that human beings are no different to dogs, to cats. They're still animals. They're still animals, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's that part of. It's that part of our nature, our true nature. That man really dislikes. That man, human beings, society just doesn't like. Oh, yeah, doesn't you know, want to see it. Doesn't want to see it, obviously. <sighs> but, you know, education is what it's all about. Education yeah. Yeah. Will, will, will change things if we change the education. You know, we were talking to um, some an older gentleman, and he was saying, we were telling him, but education, we're not taught about life. We're not taught. And he about said no. How to be happy? In We're your not life. taught about how to be happy in life. Yeah. Uh, no, oh, you're right there. The one, one. Guy. And we're not taught about how to how to lead, lead a healthy life. Yeah. We're not taught that. Oh. And it's, it's, it's education. We should be taught. Yeah. We should be given this information. I was I was talking to. It's ridiculous. I was talking to those three guys. Yeah, very quickly. And then I, this the older bloke was listening. I said, "You you go to school. You're not taught about how to lead a healthy life, a happy life." Absolutely. And yeah. he said, I said, oh, we talk about ha healthy. Right, okay. Well, I wasn't when I was at school, but you're not taught about happy, leading a happy life. What's the point of you? So and then I said, that's because they want you to be unhappy. Absolutely, yeah. Because think about it, if you're not being taught how to how to lead a happy life, it's because they want you to be unhappy. Happy. Absolutely, it? yeah. Makes sense yeah. to me. Yeah, it makes sense to yeah. me, honestly. So, it's a bit like that young girl when she says about making people happy. But by saying that, you're implying that people are unhappy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's it's just ridiculous. Yeah. But, but it's all just all. so nice to um, um, look back on today and think, yeah, we did we really, really well. That was really good. Yeah, really, really good. Really, absolutely really well. fucking yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. That was yeah. That was absolutely. Great. So um, there you go. Yeah, I yeah. think that's uh, that. Yeah, I just, I just wish we had a better. Uh, some better equipment better to do equipment some better to streaming record, to do really. some better streaming but hey ho hey ho you know we can't uh, we can only we're only limited with what we've got but that's the thing with a lot of flower is that they accept you know that they, they accept <sighs> <sighs> anyway uh, 
Well, I did read one comment, and I did read one com- comment that come up on the tablet. I don't know whether it was uh, from yeah. the. She said, "You're boring." I don't know whether that was. For, I don't know. Sure, sure. But uh, yeah, thanks ever so much. And so there we go. A successful yeah. day for flat Earth, in our oh, opinion. Okay. Absolutely. Interesting. It was, yeah. it was amazing. one of the best things was that I was talking to lots of people. And I was saying, but that's just your opinion. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just your opinion. Cause it's you can't just your prove opinion. it. You can't prove it. You've you've only got an opinion. This absolutely. is just your opinion. opinion. And even that makes people think. think. Yeah. Well, why is it just yeah. my opinion? Well, why yeah. is there no proof? Oh, even well, let's the, have a little look for some proof. Even, oh, well, there is no proof. Yeah, because oh, I, it's just my opinion. I felt just before, because you came back, just before you came back, when we had a lot of people. Oh, yeah, you had, we had loads of people. I felt we? there was about f- four or five people all, f- like, bombarding me. Even oh, a, right, a, sure. an older woman came up and was started talking about the moon. The moon. The moon. And I'm, I'm not thinking, I've got these people, people here asking me something. I've got this person here. Oh, yes. Because they were starting to, oh, these, these young people started to talk to me about water is wet. And wet is water. And I'm not thinking, you know. Right, can, okay. Can you be a bit sensible? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but uh, methylated spirits is wet. But it's not water. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. It, Does it feel wet? Just because something's wet doesn't mean to say it's but water, anyway. does it? But it it was quite at times. It was quite. Uh, you could you could quite actually argue, it was argue that quite busy. you could actually argue if you was a bit of a uh, you know uh, no no better not better better keep it clean there. Yeah 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 sure. But uh, any, yeah, great 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 great, great, great uh, day. So just quick recap tips for people. Play some music. Play some flat earth music. If, you, if you're going to do flat earth activism, play flat earth music. music. Okay. Yeah. Get yourself a CD. Put the music together. And a speaker or and whatever. And a speaker. Just play the music. Because yeah. it will make a big, big, big difference. difference. Yeah. Absolutely. Because people are more likely going to stop as well. This is yeah. another thing. Because they well. want to listen to the words of the music. They'll want to listen to the music. They can listen to the music while they're looking. Yeah. Absolutely. Do especially that. if you're playing um, uh, that jabber. The earth is flat. The earth is flat. Because another thing with, with playing music is flat. Another thing with playing music is that it makes the passerby oh, think that it's a much larger than just the people they can see. Absolutely. It's yeah. a much bigger community. Like it's it's a huge community. community yeah. Absolutely. This yeah. is the point, yeah. You don't want to go out there on the streets thinking that you're the only person who think the earth is flat. Absolutely. You, you yeah. need to give the per- you need to give people the, the the you need to give them the knowledge that there are it's a wider community. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to do that either in auditory or information that you're you're doing. Yeah. There so all, all good tips um, but yeah successful day thanks ever so much for yeah. watching the live stream if you have yeah apologies for the quality and uh, absolutely and I'm very much looking forward to getting our next video up because I want to put our valves into practice yeah and one thing I will do before we go and that is we had a little uh, we had a little uh, had a little message from uh, A little comment from Dardania Illyrian, if I've pronounced your name properly, um, concerning. Well, this was on our last video. Everyone's got to learn, learn some song. Um, make it I'm going to make it big. We've pinned your comment because we think it's wonderful. Um, but he's, he wrote, You're absolutely right, guys. I did my own electrolysis experiments because we. I'm sure lots of people have been doing electrolysis. Yeah. Just to see for themselves. Oh, and burn the gas. And burn the gas, absolutely. Uh, with different kind of water and salt solution. The results confirm everything you say. There we go. And I'll go even further and say there is no rust-free metals or stainless, stainless metals. metals. Only precious metals like gold, gold silver. May possible be rust-free. Three. But I, I, I would think, give it time. Give it time. Every, every metal will degrade, won't it? Give it in time. Well, apart from the well, in yeah, time. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure it's bound to. Well, because really. things are in the ground. Things That's are in where the they gr- belong. Absolutely. When they're in the ground naturally, then they they will not rust or they, they will not rust. degrade. Absolutely. But when human beings come along and take their grubby little hands, take their grubby little hands, and extract all of these 
things from the earth and uh, manipulate them, it's then that they'll start degrading. Yeah. But thanks ever so much for your comment. It's very kind. And it's nice to know that other people are um, actually doing the things that we're doing and actually um, basically demonstrating that we we are that well can come to the same can come to, to the, the same, same conclusions. conclusions. It's wonderful. Sure. So there we go. And there we uh, go. so success. Success. It's been a lovely, on lovely the day. streets of Chester for flat earth. Absolutely. So absolutely. So yeah. So next off, we're getting back to our. Well, get back to normal now. Getting back to normal now. Yeah. So thanks ever so much for watching, and always remember till next time. If something doesn't make sense, like people thinking the Earth is a spinning, spinning ball. ball, yeah, when it's really, ah. yeah, six hundred and fifty miles an hour. Absolutely, and thinking that a young kid. At 18 years of age or 16 years of age straight out of education system thinks he's right and you're wrong Ooh. yeah based on the information he's been given from his education yeah, yeah. i even asked that but one one guy said i because he was talking about gravity i said could but can you can you can you can you think of another explanation of why yeah. what keeps things down yeah and he said no and you think, but what? what? And, um, yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's because he only wants to think yeah, of gravity. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. He doesn't want to think of another explanation because then that will put his gravity to shame. To shame. It will yeah. question his gravity. Make I should got meaning. to someone who wants to go to Australia. So I said to her, check the star trails, the movement of the stars when you're in Australia. I would love to go and do it myself. Yeah. I would love to go to Australia and watch the stars move across the night sky. sky yeah. So I said to her, you do it. Because yeah. if they move across this way, like that way, I think. Yeah. yeah that way. Yeah. The Earth is That's flat. That's looking south. That's looking south, yeah. The Earth is flat. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But if they go this way, I think that way. No, that way. Well, you yeah. know, it's still flat. Absolutely. Anyway, just have so. To consider. Yeah up there in, in a different way absolutely of course so there yeah, you go even i said up everything up quick, there quick, is unimaginable up. absolutely it's of beyond our so there we limited go imagination. lovely day yeah. and that'll be it thanks ever so much and yeah, we'll see you next guys time. yeah bye the earth isn't round it's flat how do you know i've observed it in all my yeah. travels over europe it's flat everywhere it's flat